Look at the jumper. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna rewind that. I said, look at the jumper. You know what it is. I want to talk about first year relationships. I know that a lot of people go into university first year, even some people second year. This will still apply to those who are in university in general and relationships. And then being in a relationship, like getting into a relationship within uni. All right, cool. So, um, little backstory. Obviously, I've gone to uni, I've finished university. When I got to university, I went to LU, Bedfordshire, Dunno, know. <laughs> Bedfordshire Uni, say nada. All right, cool. You know, um, it was quite a vibrant university, a lot of black people, um, a lot of attitude, a lot of fun, a lot of games, a lot of jokes, um, just good times, good vibes. Probably not a lot of grades, but it was good Good still. I was, with, I was with a girl at the time and she was a year below me, so she hadn't gone to uni. I was going to university and I remember when I was leaving to go to university, I like, we were both crying and I was like, what am I crying? Someone I'm crying, but I was crying because I was thinking to myself, my whole life has changed because I, under I understood that at university things change. Yo, I've heard stories, so I was like, when I get to university, things are going to be so different, it's going to be mad. When I got there, and the first year it was so crazy, even though I had a girlfriend, I had told myself some certain rules. For one instance, one, I can't go to a girl's house and be alone, like, because I knew. And I think there was only one girl I went to a girl's house that I was alone, and I had broken up with my girl at the time, I was, I was on a break or whatever. So, and we were studying the Bible, funny enough. I wasn't a Christian university, just to let you know. I was never saved. But, you know, through that time of university, um, it was kind of mad. It was just mad because uh, your eyes are seeing, but you, you know, you're trying to restrict yourself. Like, you don't want to get engaged in them kind of thing. So, people already knew that I had a girlfriend. Like, they already knew. I told everyone from the jump. Like, I never said on campus. So, girls aren't going to see me. Um, I'm not going to see many girls. I can't, I'm not going to stay over. And I'm, I'd only stay over if it's a rave. And I'll set up one of my boys' yard, and that was about it. Um, but even then, there was mischief, but that's another story. Alright, so that's basically the gist. So, basically, what I'm saying is that when you go to university, it's a completely different ball game. Your relationship can change. I have to draft at some points, my bro. I have to draft at some points. I, point one I said is this you're gonna be remolded. Your mindset's gonna completely change. You're coming into a new arena. You're coming into a new environment where you're about to learn new skills. You're about to experience people in a different fashion in life because you've been secluded, you've been concluded in one area where you're in school and all you're dealing with is people who are in sixth form or college and there's a certain type of people. But when you get to university, the spectrum of people is huge. Um, it, and then, like I said, body shape, fa facial, like how people act, how people behave. I mean, there's so many snakes and so many fakes out there. There's so many smart people. There's so many people who are funny. There's so many people who are who are who will love you and who will respect you. It's all sorts of people across the board. But you yourself are being remolded. As in the process of being remolded, it makes a relationship difficult. Why? Because both sets of parties who are in this relationship now are now finding who they are. You've got the opportunity to become brand new. So. In becoming brand new, you might want something brand new, you know what I mean? Or you might want to experience single life again because there's so many different options now. You want to taste the different palettes of food that are out there. I'm not saying you should, I'm just letting you know this is the difficulty of being in a relationship whilst in uni or coming to you know, university in a relationship. You discover new things when you're in university. And one of the things you discover is that your girl is not the baddest girl, one. And I'm, talk I'm not talking about I'm not talking about facially or physically. I'm talking about in terms of mindset. There are some females out there or some males out there who've got it locked down. And, it, and then you begin to compare, but comparison is a thief of joy. And this is where relationships get into, into difficulty because you're now forming friendships with different types of people. Those types of people are imprinting upon you when they imprint upon you it's up to you how you deal with that situation how are you gonna how that person as they talk to you as, as you as you as you chill as you socialize how is that person impacting you because if that person's impacting you to the point where now you start thinking about your boyfriend thinking right look at him shut up man can't even do this you know look how he's struggling da, da, da. but look at this guy he's so calm he's so collected he's got his things together da, 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 rare, rare, rare. it can make you compare your relationship and when you compare it's the beginning of the end that's it. The relationship is going go, go down. Go down. Down. That's it. My God. Collect your award. You are about to be finished. My best Oscar like goes to. Alright. Put him free. In university, you have so much free time. And here's a problem. People get lonely. And at the age you're at, between 18 and 21, 
Maturity hasn't fully developed in you, especially emotional maturity. Being alone ain't easy. We're still on campus, right? You've got a room to yourself. And I already said in one of my videos, okay, your room is not your house. Being, being Having that much free time means you've got time to think. Sometimes your relationship may not be where you want it to be. And that time to think gives you ability now to actually think, right, I don't really want that relationship. Like, right, wow, he does this, he does that, she does this, she does that. And then you start to think to yourself, this is not really the relationship I want to be in. It makes it difficult. Sometimes you overthink things because you have so much time to think. You're not overthinking. The person's been texting you for three hours. What are they doing? What, because you have three hours free period, doesn't mean they've got three hours free period. But the thing is, you don't, the thing is you're, you're overthinking the situation. And so that it creates problems. Then you bring that problem into the relationship because now you're thinking it's what's going to be brought into the relationship. You understand? Levels. Understand? In university, because you can remold yourself, your status could change. What I mean by this, if you were the baddest girl, you could drop down to the mediocre type girl. What I mean is that in, in sixth form in college, you could have been the baddest girl. And when you came to university, you're not the baddest girl anymore. You're not the smartest girl anymore. You're not the funniest girl anymore. You're not the, the fastest girl anymore. You're not the most sporty, athletic type of girl anymore. Your uniqueness has seemed to have dimmed down because now there's plenty of types who are like you. The same with men. That you may have been a player, da, 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 and you come to university and it's like, rah, the girl's not really feeling that way. Why? Because you're kind of quirky. Da, da. It worked for you where you were, but you're in a different environment. You may not be that way. Some people just keep on traveling exactly the same. They get to university, nothing changes. But people's statuses do change. And in most cases, people's statuses elevate. And when they elevate, that's when we're going to know who you are. Because let's say, for instance, you never got girls in university, but you had a girl. You got to, I mean, you never had girls in sixth form of college. Then you, had, then you get to university, you got a girl. But then your status has changed. Now people look at you and go like, you're so smart. Like, we, that's something they value in that environment that you're in. You're so smart and it's so attractive. Suddenly now you find yourself five, six girls are now chasing you. But they're not chasing you in the most obvious way. They're chasing you by wanting your attention, wanting your time. And when they want that, that's the problem. Because now you're having to divide your time between your missus and these girls or that girl, whatever. And before you know it, because you've got time and because you're in the proximity of that person, suddenly you start to think about that person in a more, more than friendship light. And this is where relationships get into trouble in university a lot of times. And that's why a lot of first year relationships don't work because people are not ready for this change. The change that's coming is so huge. It's, it's like it just it slaps you. Just like pow, 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 pow. Just like that. Slapping you in your face. You've not seen it coming kind of thing. And so when people state it's begin to change, it's a time to be very wary in a relationship, etc, etc. You understand? Understand? Cool. All right. Attach that point. People's friendship groups completely change, which means people are going to change. I talked about remolding, but I want to add this point. People's friendship circles are going to change. In university, your friendship circle will probably differ from what you had in college or sixth form. For instance, um, I went to a sixth form where it was predominantly white, British. Then I went to a university where it was predominantly black. Now, when you get into a black circle and black culture, it's found completely different, you know? It's wild. It's, it's, it's mad. Let me tell you something. If you see Twitter, that's how it was in Luton, Bedfordshire. L-U-L-U, L-U, da 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 L-U-L-U, da L-U, da 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 L-U-L-U, because my YouTube was later there. L-U-L-U, L -U, can I, can I, can I, yeah, okay, cool. So, my friendship circle completely changed. Therefore, my mindset kind of changed. Um, I wasn't really too deep with the university people because I already had my friends that were outside, so we was already that way. But I saw other people who had become from one way and changed the next, and I was like, whoa, what happened? And I realized it's friendship group. The friendship group you're around can begin to change the way you act and the way you feel. So now when you're looking at your relationship, your boys are saying, yo, don't man, just do your thing, man. Like, come on, just get that girl's number. Now beforehand, you was not even that, you was not on that level. You was not even feeling to do them things. But your friendship group in university now is now pushing you to do them things. Second, it's the same with females. You have females where they're in certain female groups and the, girl, the girls are like, I don't really rate your man. But they're not going to say it out loud. This is the smart thing about girls. They ain't going to say it out loud. They're just like, mm, like you always chat about him. Da, da, da. They always want to put him down because they, they don't want you to be happy. One. Two. They don't rate man. Three. When they don't rate man, that means that now, if you're in that circle, if you want to exist in that circle, you're, not, you're also not going to rate your man, which is a problem when it comes to relationships. Again. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. The of selection that you're allowed to choose from in university is completely different. The scope of people that you have in university is huge. So you can have the girl with a body and smart and intellectual and funny. And you can have it all in one girl. And you're like, freaking hell. Mm -hmm. So everything that your girl was funny. She was funny. That was her main thing. She's funny. She's good looking. She had that. But this girl trumps her. Because in university, you're going to get so many different types of people. 
You know what I mean? So now you get these other types of people. When it comes to choice, because the power, the power that we have is that when choice comes into your hands, you gain power. But when you gain power, it's up to you what you do with that power. Are you going to be corrupted by that power or are you going to make sensible decisions? In university, we find out a lot of people are not ready for that power. For instance, some people as well, I call it the blossoming stage. People can blossom in university that like they were not good looking at all in sixth form and college. Then suddenly they get to university, they are looking banging. The makeup has been touching them. My God, you are looking sweet. My gosh, you are looking fantastic. You mean the eyebrows are looking fly K man, fly K man, you know what I mean? And now suddenly the boys are after you and they're chasing you. What do you do with that power? How do you now look at your relationship? So you got to be, see this palette of people who are now, the, the palette of people that you can now interact with completely different mate. Goals and ambitions can also change. Sometimes people are not very ambitious and they get to university and they meet certain people and they become very ambitious. And now they become ambitious, you're no longer, you're no longer really an interest to them. Your girlfriend or boyfriend no longer interests you now because now they're not flying in the same way you're flying. You get it? You understand? Levels. Okay, proximity. You know what? Some things I find very scary. Some people intentionally go to the same uni as their boyfriend or girlfriend. I personally don't think it's, I don't think it's the, the greatest move. The reason why I do this is you need space to grow. This is a remolding stage. And when you feel like you're remolding and you're in the same university, I feel like people need time and space. You feel like they've been, they've been sucked into an area and they can't get out. Why? Because they're at university. You're in the same university. So everyone knows you. They know me. It's like, I can't get out of our circle. I can't begin to be me. Like I can't begin to grow, I can't begin to, 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 to test out new things because you're making me test out the things that I've already tested out because you're here. Proximity, space. Those of you are in Bournemouth, but then your, your boyfriend's in Edinburgh. What a madness, fam. When are you seeing each other? When are you seeing each other? Like, fam, I don't even want to talk about that one. That distance, this distance, distance makes a heart, whatever, um, whatever makes a heart go fonder. This one, the distance is too long. And the price that you have to pay to get from train to there or drive is, is immense. You are a uni student, you don't have the money. How are you going to see your life? You're going to be Skyping each other. You must have been in Australia. One of the final points in terms of why ratios don't go too well in university. People don't respect your relationship. I'm going to be honest. The snakes that exist in university are plenty. Oh my God. There are so many of them. And People will intentionally try to scupper your relationship because they want to see you falter. Because in university, it's like, it's like Twitter. It's like, it's a small environment. And so it's like, it's standards. We want to see people's business. The more mayhem we can see, the better. For instance, in Luton, I remember someone had a Facebook page of all the madness that people were doing. So all the people that accepted this and this and that, they put it all on Facebook in some page. Why? Because people like Concorsa, people like mischief, people like gossip. So if they can make your relationship fail, they don't mind. And plus it's a test. Like if we can test your relationship, you're saying you're you say you love the person, but you're here chilling in my room. See, and little things like that, that's how it starts. You say you love your boyfriend, but you're in my room. You say you love your boyfriend, but we went to cinema last week. You say you love your boyfriend, but you was at London's with me. You say you love your boyfriend, but you're doing this and that, this and that, this and that, this and that, this and that. You haven't even mentioned sex yet. You just mentioned the fact you've done this and that and that. And that's how people start starting to corrode your relationship and corrode the respect of your relationship. So how do you actually deal with this? That's another video. We'll deal with that another time, you get me? But for now, we're dealing with the fact that when you come to relationship, when university, relations, they're not easy. You understand? Levels. <laughs>